Right, two more factoring problems. These are just the basic factoring where you have to factor out the greatest common factor and then you know, write what's left. Now, uh, the reason why I'm kind of doing this one is, is this question 12 looks very familiar to what you might be doing on the test. Okay, so I've done some basic ones. Let's just keep building it up, but you know, they're not that too hard once you've got the idea. So look at question 11. Again, what can I factor out of these three terms? Right, okay, well, what can I divide by? 27, 6, and 30. 3, okay? So they'll all divide by 3. Not 6, or anything, not 6, okay? They'll all divide by 3. So I'm going to put a 3 there, a 3 there, and a 3 there, okay? So I know I can pull a 3 out. What else? x6, x4, x2, the x2, the x squared is the smallest one, okay? So I know I can factor out an x squared out of each of these three terms. Okay, so there we go. And I mean, you don't have to write these underneath. I'm just writing it so that I can then do the division. I'm going, okay, what do I do? What do I do? And write it uh, in the answer. So remember, 3x squared is what I can factor out. Okay, because there we go. 27, 6, and 30 will all divide by 3. x6, x4, x2 will all divide by x2, the x squared. So let's do the division. 27 divided by 3 is 9. x6 divided by x squared, okay, remember, subtract exponents. 6 take away 2 is 4. So that's x to the fourth. Okay, that's the first one done. Uh, there's a minus next. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Now, x4 divided by x2, this is where you subtract the exponents, so that will give you x2. Okay, there we go, that's the next one. And finally, another minus, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. Now remember, let's just stop here, because x squared over x squared, cancelled, gone, okay? Some people kind of think they have to leave an x in. No, that's it, you've taken the x squared out, there's none left there, it's just 30 divided by 3 is 10, there's the answer. Okay? Right, next one. Like I say, I think this is kind of one similar to the test question. Just bigger, do the same thing. Okay. Right, 30, 24, and 48. Six. Six. I think it's six. Uh, Twelve. There's a bit. Okay, it is. They'll all divide by six. Eight. No, 31 divided by eight. Right, so. Six. Six. Six, right, I can pull a six out. Uh, x six, right, oh yeah, x's. Six, four, two, right, x squared, x two in the last one, okay, that's the smallest one. Remember, it is in all of them, x is in all of them, so I can take it out. Okay, uh, y nine, y six, y three, y three is the smallest, okay, y three is the smallest. So we're going to write it in all, so six x squared, y cubed, is the greatest common factor. That's why I can divide all of these by. Okay, so I'll write it there. And don't forget the answer. Don't forget to write it. Remember, that material above is just for me to do the division. That's just underneath, is just so I can check. Uh, y cubed. Right, so that is the greatest common factor. Big parenthesis. Let's see what's left. Right, here we go. 30 divided by 6 is 5 x6 over x2, 6 take away 2 is 4, so x4, x4, okay. y9, y3, 9 take away 3, y6. Okay, that's the first one done. What's the sign in between? A plus. 24 divided by 6 is 4. x4 over x2, subtract the exponents, 4 take away 2, is x squared, okay, so x, that's going to be x squared. And then y6 over y3, uh, 6 take away 3 is 3, so that's a y cubed. Okay, there you go, that's the next one. Minus, what's 48, sorry, I'm over here now, okay, over here. 48 divided by 6 is 8. Now I think I might be able to stop here, let's have a look, okay, 8, because look, x squared over x squared y cubed over y cubed. Okay, that's it. That's the answer right there. I'm not going to say it. That's the answer. 